Ah, you got more, yeah? How much is that? Can have a look in there. Yeah, nice one. Cheers, mate. I'm not sure what got on the games, mate. Take them too, mate, for the time. Morning. Is this uh, Xbox yours down here? Is this all your stuff down here, mate? Are you selling it individually or is it all as, as a bundle? Uh, well, it depends how much, but I would going to sell it individually. Yeah, okay, no, that's fine. How much are you after on the games? Uh, I haven't really thought about it. I haven't passed them up. Okay. One pound and two pounds, so... No worries.
how, how much do you uh, want for, for the Xbox as well, mate, on its own? Uh, 30 quid. I got one, yeah. 30, yeah. Um, so I've got these games here. This, oh, that's just an empty case, that one, though, but I would... You want him? Yeah, I'd buy it. Actually, actually. And if you do that for like 50p or something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six games there. Yeah, doing two pound each. Mm. Twelve fifty. Would you do a tenner for the lot? Eleven. Uh, go on then. Uh, just, uh, I'm just gonna double check. <coughs> yeah, go on then. I'll take them. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Oh. Got it. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Is it just the one control you've got in there, or? Two or three. Might even be four. Oh, is there? Oh. How much? How much do you want on the controllers? I'm assuming you want to keep one with a console, but uh, I don't know. How many's in there? Four for it. Yeah, it's just uh, two controllers you've got in there, mate. I'm assuming the black one you want to keep with the... Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, might as well. Keep that with your thing and then... How much would you do the controller for? Four quid. Three? Yeah, right. Yeah? Nice one. you got two quid change? Yeah. But Morning, how much are you after on all the uh, DVDs and that? So they must be all the same thing. All of them? No, no, sorry, uh, not all of them, but I mean, uh, how much are their prices, oh. sorry. <laughs> 50p, yes. Yeah. They're yeah, Blu-rays mostly, aren't they? Yeah. You got 50p change? Yeah. Please. That was the best thing. Oh, that's nice. Oh, nice. 505 is like a 20, uh, 40 foot game. Let's see it. Oh, decent. How much uh, pay for that? A pound. <laughs> it was in a, a box of DVDs. There's a guy around here. Oh, a box right. of DVDs and stuff. I was just happy to see that. I was like, decent. Sorry, got that one. Yeah, no, I ain't got nothing, uh, yeah, nothing really good. Yeah. And we are back, YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you, and for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm going to game my channels buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, any electrical items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CEX at a high price, so I can build my own gaming collection. So yes, back with another boot sale pickup video. Um, very cold, very dark, um, but yeah, really good. This was the first, or sorry, should we say the return of uh, the first big hard standing boot, sta boot sale near me. Um, this one runs from February to De uh, December. Um, although this year, or sorry, last year, sorry, it did stop in November due to the weather. Um, so yeah, really good to get back there. It was really busy in terms of stalls, nearly full, but not so much, although I did get some good pickups, um, although these are from a charity shop. But yeah, I did get some good pickups uh, that I can go over with you now, which are going to give me a really good return. And then, yeah, as I was just saying as well, I popped into a charity shop, although unfortunately I didn't manage to get it on uh, video. 
I popped into a charity shop on Saturday and got all of these. Uh, my first really good charity shop pickup, I would say, to be honest. Never had uh, a score as, as good as what I've got for these in terms of for my collection and trading in and obviously hopefully getting a little bit of money back there as well. So yeah, let's start with the first pickups of the day. Um, yeah, first cheap PlayStation or cheap good PlayStation 1 game I've managed to pick up uh, at a car boot sale. This is Command and Conquer 1 on the PlayStation 1. Now, I did have this game already and I have swapped over the case uh, and one of the discs because the copy that I had, uh, which is this one here, as you're about to see, when you open it, the uh, ring bit there is broken and obviously the discs fall out inside and one of them was it just not that it was scratched too much but it was a little bit more scratched than uh, this one so yeah I've put that in there and then look again the same this one you know it falls out it doesn't stay in there properly because the ring bit there is broken so yeah 50p there I mean even in that condition without the manual you know I could probably get three four you know, maybe even five pound. Unfortunately, CEX don't take the Command and Conquer series. Uh, well, sorry, on the PlayStation One, which I find absolutely bizarre. I mean, it's a you know a well-known game. I would assume well sought after. I mean, come up for me, Command and Conquer Red Alert Two was was really really good. I spent loads of hours as a kid playing it. So, you know, I, what do I know? Um, but yeah, they don't they don't take that for some reason. So I'll get it on eBay and hopefully get a couple of quid back for it. But yeah, my money's safe fifty p into hopefully. Three, four, five pound, and then they had a copy of Zoo Tycoon on the DS, nice and complete. Again, fifty p, and I think that trades in for one pound sixty. So yeah, tripling my money again there. So I'm more than happy with that. And then yeah, the second pickup, really good. Um, I don't I mean I don't know if you could tell in the footage. It's uh, obviously it's really dark. Couldn't see uh, too much. I think I went to walk off, and then I clocked like a, a bag for life out the corner of my eye. Now. My eyesight's terrible normally. Um, I do wear glasses when I'm at the boot sales, obviously, and with it being dark, I'm, I probably miss out on loads, to be honest, just because I can't see. But luckily on this occasion, I did see them and, I, and uh, yeah, I managed to pick them all up. But yeah, £14 I paid for this. Now, I'll start off with the controller, which I, I went back to afterwards because I, f I thought that there was only one controller in the bag, but obviously, like I'm saying, it was a black controller. It was dark, I couldn't see. Um, so yeah, bought this afterwards, and it has got the desirable back with you know that takes the batteries for trading in, which I learned not too long ago. Um, but yeah, not in nice condition, it all works. Uh, 14 pounds I should get back for that, and I paid three pounds for it, so more than tripling my money on that. And then, yeah, all of these games here, what is there? I think there was, uh, sorry, not all of them, there's one in here that I bought from another stall. Bear with me. Oh no, it's there, sorry. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. And I think I paid £11 for them. So, you know, just shy of £2 each. But some with really good uh, trading value here. So we've got Sonic uh, All-Stars Transformed. Nice and complete. Um, oh, wait a minute. That's uh, Sonic Heroes. That's, is that a different manual? Yeah, it's a different manual. Sonic Heroes is a different game. So, okay. Maybe I'll trade that in without the manual then and uh, yeah, keep that for a later date and hit me up on, on Instagram if you need a copy of or the manual for Sonic Heroes. <laughs> so yeah, and a nice little bonus there. But yeah, that one chops in for £8. Uh, I've then got Sonic Generations. Uh, that one is complete with the right manual. Um, yeah, and again, that one trades in for £8. FIFA 17, that trades in for uh, £6. Then I've got Need for Speed Carbon. I think that one chops in for maybe £5. And then I managed to pick up two copies of Minecraft. Now, I don't know if you've seen one of my previous videos. It may have even been last week or the week before. I've got a copy of, or the disc only, of Minecraft. And I said, I'm definitely picking it up because I know I'll get a case. And then, you know, here we are, a week or two later, and I've got a case. So the first one, CEX reprinted cover. Um, still baffles my mind that people buy them and will keep them. But, yeah. That one there, so yeah, six pounds that trades in for. And then the second one, which is obviously the one that I've put mine in. Now, the disc is a little bit scratched, quite scratched, I would say, but it, it the only light scratches. Like I've, I've had discs clean before and I know what will come up and what won't. Um, and yeah, so I paid 50p for the case. 
well, no, actually, well, yeah, I think, I think he, he said he wanted 50p for it, but in the end, I paid 11 quid for them all. Um, but yeah, 50p for the case, we say, 50p for the disc, pay a pound to get it clean, so that's two pound expenditure, six pound back, happy days. And then Shadow uh, the Hedgehog on the Xbox original, nice and complete. Um, yeah, again, that one trades in for three pound or something. So, I mean, my maths is rubbish. I'll put it on the screen now. Oh no, I'll put it. I'll do it at the end of how much I spent for on all of it and uh, how much I'm getting back. But yeah, fourteen pounds on on all of that there. So really happy with that. Uh, I then managed to get a copy of Spider Man trilogy on Blu-ray. Now this one is sealed, so I paid fifty pay, fifty p for it, um, and it trades in for two pound at CEX. But I'll have a look on eBay. I haven't looked yet. Um, maybe I'll be able to get a little bit more as it is sealed. But we'll see. But if not, yeah, 50p into £2. More than happy with that. And then, yeah, the last pickup, again, I didn't manage to get it on um, camera. Um, my battery ran out, so I do apologise. It keeps happening a lot lately, so I do need to pay attention. Um, but, yeah, Left 4 Dead 2, paid a pound for it. And that trades in for, I think, four, five, or maybe even £6, actually. I think, yeah, I think that's £6. I think Left 4 Dead is four or five pounds, and that's £6. So, yeah, really happy with that. So all in all, I think I spent maybe about £16, uh, £16.50 maybe at that boot sale. And I'll put it on screen exactly how much I'm getting back for it now in vouchers. But really, really happy with that. Um, and then, yeah, this these lot here, this is, um, yeah, a charity shop score. Probably the best of my career so far. Um, paid £2 each for the games and then £1.50 for the box set. But yeah, first one I've got here is Call of Duty Black Ops Hardened Edition. Now that chops in for £7. So yeah, £2 into £7. I've got Family Guy uh, video game. It's too hot for TV. Nice and complete. I'll be keeping that for my collection. I've picked up a lot of the Simpsons games recently. I'm on the uh, lookout for the Future Armor game as well. Because I do want to have all of those ones in my collection. So yeah, if I didn't want to though, that trades in for £4. But I'll, I'll be keeping that in my collection. And then, yeah, PlayStation 4 games, got Resident Evil Biohazard, um, I think that chops in for maybe £5. Uh, Monster Hunter World, I think that one chops in for like £4, maybe £3. Uh, then The Witcher, Wild Hunt 3, I think this one is. It's, it's actually got all like the uh, manual and the stickers and everything in there, whether or not that makes it worth any more money. But that one trades in for £8 at CEX, but... I'll have a look on eBay again to see if it's worth any more with the stickers and maybe pop it on there. Uh, Shadow Hunter, oh, sorry, Shadow Hunter, Middle Earth Shadow of War, um, Shadow of War, sorry. That one trades in for £5. And then, yeah, Skate Free on the play, uh, PlayStation Free. That chops in for maybe 4 or £5 as well. Um, so, yeah, really happy with that. I think I spent maybe like £16 on, on those games there. Hopefully be getting maybe £35 back for them. So, you know, not tripling my money, but more than doubling it. So that seems to be the trend lately. So happy with that. Um, and then, yeah, lastly, I'm hoping, though, that this, this DVD box set here will pay for all of that anyway because uh, I've got the Leon Schuster, Shuster Collection, eight hilarious movies. Um, now, they don't take this in CEX, but I've had a look on eBay. There's only been a couple that have sold... Uh, with it recently, but they both went for like 50 or 60 pounds in a lot better condition than this one, though. Um, I mean, I don't know if you can see there, obviously, it's got wear that you would expect on a cardboard box. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stick it up for 45 pounds, see what happens. If no one, if I don't get any interest, I'll reduce the price a little bit, um, and then just go from there and, and see what I can get for it. But hopefully, yeah, one pound 50 into. You know, I'd be happy if I got 15 to 20 pound back for it to um, pay for, for those games. But if not, you know, maybe if I can get even more for it. So so we'll see. But yeah, re really happy with that in terms of uh, pickups from a charity shop. Now, this boot sale um, was the first boot sale that I went to on Sunday. I did go to another one, but because I picked up so much from there and so much from the other boot sale, I think it's too much for one video. So I'll be doing another one. So it'll be, you know, uh, Sunday car boot sale part two, should we say, which will probably be in, released on Wednesday uh, following uh, this video. So keep an eye out for that one. Um, but yeah, really hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Um, 
again, thank you for all the likes, all the subscriptions, all the views. Um, the channel's been going really, really well since after Christmas as well, so I do really appreciate it. Hopefully be um, at 2,000 subscribers by the end of the month if it can, keeps continuing in the way that it has. And obviously, once we hit that milestone, I'll, I'll be giving out some more vouchers to you guys. So, so yeah, once again, I can't thank you all enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know in the comments if I missed anything or, uh, you know, if I picked up something that you, oh, sorry, I didn't pick up something that you would have. Um, but, yeah, take care and I will see you all in the next one.